As we are getting ready for another steamy day, the heat end index is expected to reach about 102 degrees. Joni is live with more on how people are already trying to stay cool out there. Joni? Hey there. Well, you know, there's a nice little breeze happening right now, but that sunshine is uh, coming in and it's starting to heat up. The humidity takes it out of you before you even know it. We're in Bellwood where that uh, apartment building, a condo building behind me has its roof ripped right off. And some of the residents have been coming back trying to see if they can get inside and get some stuff because they're in temporary housing right now, which, uh, you know, compounds everything when you're dealing with heat like this. It's an 18 unit apartment building. It's exposed with the roof peeled off, which happened on Monday during those storms just terrifying for the residents no one was hurt here but then there's no electricity nowhere to go the red cross helped residents with food and temporary housing 17 families had to leave their homes and the power was interrupted for other houses on the block as well comet has been working very hard at restoring power for everyone in the area that lost it during these storms their last report was that 5907 customers were still out of power on this very hot day and yesterday as well, they've restored 100,000 customers to power and also they are having uh, providing some cooling buses because it's just going to heat up once again and we know how hard that was yesterday. But here at the building, the Red Cross has been assisting some people and issuing a warning about this heat. This is a time where we should come together and, and really be checking on each other and making sure that everything, everyone is really taken care of. Um, there's cooling centers open, I know, throughout the area, so you can, you know, check with 311. You can, you know, certainly, you know, contact your local officials to find out where those are at. Um, but I would highly encourage people, you know, to stay safe, which means staying out of the sun because it's, it's really hot. And the only way to do that for some people is to seek those cooling centers which are available in the suburbs and also in the city. Here in Bellwood, some of the residents are finding out that their temporary displacement is going to be more long term because apparently in the building they found some structural damage. They want to put a tarp on the roof. Try, there's already water damage. And so not everyone's going to be able to get stuff to be able to live temporarily somewhere else for a while. And they're waiting around in the heat to find out. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Now back to you.